how does it feel to see uh, a work, a uh, comic book that you've you know, helped create and everything, brought to life and, and sort of realized perhaps a little, little differently than, than how you imagined it? To be honest, it's not really that different. Um, it's quite amazing. Uh, I went to the set, so I actually was more fascinated by the whole process, uh, meeting David Slade, the director, and seeing how he actually went through and uh, created it and was so true to the, to the vision of the, the 30 Days comic. It's quite amazing. So you must take a lot of pride, though, in seeing your, you end up seeing your name in the big screen and everything. How, how does well, it I feel? I haven't seen it on the big screen technically yet, but, uh, yeah, but yeah. How does it feel to, to, to uh, you know, go to that set and you see everything sort of that you imagine and, and it didn't cost, say, I don't know, $50 million to, no, to they, realize this? Thing. They had a, quite a small budget and they did a lot for the budget they had. Yeah. So, but, um, you know, in Australia, you know, a million bucks is a lot of money for a film. So the stuff they were managing to do with the prosthetics and the, the stuff Weta was doing is insane. And like, you know, the, the full set of the, of the town of Barrow where it's set, it was amazing what they could do. Now, have they uh, told you anything about like perhaps a sequel to 30 Days of Night or anything? Um, there's a lot of hope, I think. And there's a good yeah. buzz about the film, but um, I guess they wait until at least they know a bit more. But uh, no, no, I don't know particularly if there'll be a sequel. I am hoping there'll be a sequel. It's made for a sequel, really, uh, because of the, the way the comic books go. So, What are you working on next? Uh, well, right now I'm working on a, another comic uh, of 30 Days of Night uh, that to coincide with the movie that gives a bit more background to some history of it. But, uh, and I'm working on a few of my own creator-owned properties right now. Uh, Wormwood Gentleman Corpse. I do a comic with Warren Ellis okay. uh, uh, called Fell. Uh, which is also a, a police drama slash X-Files type thing. So, yeah, I've got a lot of stuff going on.